Okay. Seven and a half minutes, three and a half kilometers. Let's um, make sure he is following that. The road is hard to see here. Uh, but yeah, I think we do need... Um, we do need to cross uh, the bridge. But I don't know the way after that. Oh, wait. We need to cross both bridges. Six minutes though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If we make it, it's gonna be really, really tight. Going around. Don't think there is anything around here. Left up ahead. The one that's wearing a wolf, I think he's going another way. Don't even know if he did a race. broken I don't think we can go that way why the hell is the bridge broken but then we have to take this way then instead Oh, and uh, I don't think I've ever been here. Four and a half minutes, two kilometers. Come on. But now we need to navigate through the through this hell place too. Uh, fastest way is not that way. This way. Well, if we finish this, it's gonna be a miracle, to be honest. through the camp. I don't know if I dare doing that to be honest. This will set me out in the middle of the swamp. It, it's not swamp though, but it will set me on the path I want to go. Because we need to get past the, the pyramid. Three, less than three minutes. And uh, 1.7 kilometers. I did lose a lot of time this run. And 
I need to stay on the roads from here on out, to be honest. Um, up here on the left. Okay. Now we just need to really push it. Two minutes, 1.2 kilometers. Keep going. I don't I don't know, I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna be possible. We need to ride up here somewhere. I think I go through here even. I lost the road. That could have cost us everything. 600. Less than a minute. Forty seconds. Less than half a kilometer. We are riding through the camp, we don't have a choice. Seventeen. Fourteen. No. We're not gonna do it. Ten seconds. No, it's not gonna work. Oh well. No. I was kinda afraid of that. I did lose a lot of time a lot of time in um, the first area and at the beginning of this area too so yeah sucks we need to do it again it's another 20 minutes gone but not much we can do about that unless i can fast travel could try don't think it will work though I'm pretty certain it will not work. If it works, it's an extreme oversight. But I'm willing to give it a shot. One at least. It doesn't work. It does not work. They thought about that. They were smart. 
I give them that. Okay. <coughs> so this time, um, uh, we are gonna go um, similar way. But instead of going out in the windsward, we are gonna take the way uh, the, through the camp or around the camp. And then um, into Monarchs immediately. Because we lost so much time in Windsward. You don't need to have even go through Windsward. You're sort of just cutting through it. straight ahead here. And then up there, but then we need to go around off-road around the camp. Otherwise it's gonna be very bad. Is that a camp? No. Okay, the camp is up ahead. Can I go around it? This is not how I wanted to go around it, to be honest. But it worked. And I still think it is faster than the way we did earlier. in monarchs um, doesn't matter which way So the mistake we did just, uh, well, we did the last time now, uh, was that we went. No, I don't know actually. Well, we need to head straight up here now. But we did do a mistake in Ebon Scale by taking the road, the smaller road, instead of the main road. That is something we need to uh, fix this time around. And uh, not stop for um, uh, fast travel trying that is not even on the map for some reason. And we cannot take the broken bridge. Maybe if I would have made a jump over it, then I think we could have done it. And that path will set us on the right way. But our path otherwise worked. It was a little bit messy though.
Okay, yeah, we're taking the southern entry entry now, I had realized. But it shouldn't matter. It, I don't think it does. Oh, no, 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 but we are taking the right one. Oh, wait, there's a third one even. There's one more uh, north. Uh, well, yeah, we're still taking this one. This is the same we took last time. second map ah uh, damn it maybe the other way would have been best the south one hmm. i hope this one is faster though can i take another way here though uh yes yes that that could maybe work uh let's see if we take left over here Instead of going like that, that could maybe be faster. Not very fast, but it could be fast enough. In that case, we need to turn left soon. And we're just gonna need to make sure that we do a dash as much as possible. I don't think I should dash all the way. Now people are complaining about um, uh, complaining about the mounts being locked behind the expansion. I was a bit uh, not on board on that entirely too, but then I, then I did get reminded that Guild Wars 2 did the same. I don't think you can get any mounts without owning Path of Fire. I am not even sure. Well, maybe you can get the Siege Turtle if you own... Yeah, but you, that's impossible. You cannot own uh, End of Dragons and not Path of Fire. I don't think so. I think you get everything if you don't own... Uh, or maybe, I don't know. But yeah, the mounts are also locked behind there. Nine minutes, four kilometers. Not sure if that's better. Or if it's worse, but we are about to enter brim, uh, Brimstone. So, this time, we take the bridge. 
and then we take the other way. That way, and then that way, and then I should go up uh, straight away, I think. Not go like that, yes. Oh, that. So, uh, yeah. That's the way we will take. I will not run through the camp. I only want to run through one camp, and that's at the very end. Some, it sort of feels like this one has been slower. I cannot remember what time I had last time I was here. I think it was six minutes, so I might be on, uh, might be two minutes good, and that should definitely be enough. Assuming we don't do the same mistake we did up here, and uh, yeah, we did two mistakes in this map that we are not going to repeat. Now let's see here. Going this way instead of the other one is a good call. Not getting stuck will help. First bridge coming up. a mistake no it isn't no it isn't no 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 it's fine it is the only way uh, a little bit more a little bit more okay now we're just gonna stick to this road and once we have crossed the water uh, we're turning right navigating through the acid uh, acid place until we get on the road, we will stick to all the way up to um, uh, the one camp we are going to pass through. Oh, stop doing uh, freezing slow. Doesn't help us. Four minutes, four and a half minutes, two kilometers. I think mean, that's better. Left.
Oh no, don't be out here. Why, why is this one out here? Okay, uh, right up here. And that will set us on uh, the last long road, I think. Three minutes, 20 seconds. 1.4 kilometers. Okay, we don't want to mess up over here again. So uh, I need to make sure to find that small road. And it will be just to the right of the ruins that I rode through. Find that and things should hopefully be good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. We're going into the camp. So let's burn one more dash. There's no point really dashing in the camp. Well, I mean, we are going to do it anyway, but still. One minute fifteen, three hundred meters. I think we got this in a bag unless something happens. Probably the worst race so far. Uh, I could probably have done that better too, but yeah. No. I mean, I do understand in a way that the, they are complaining about the price tag, maybe. What do we get for... Um, uh, 30 euros We do get mounts, sure, we do get artifacts I'm, But yeah, the artifacts are nice And I can understand the, the limitation of having like one per set Like you cannot have uh, uh, You cannot have like the sword And the shield You have to have one of them And same with secondary uh, weapons too There's, You can only have one uh, wep artifact weapon equipped But I think it's also unfair to compare it with Guild Wars 2. We came with... Uh, what was it? Uh, four or five huge areas. Five different mounts, I think. Uh, Raptor Springer. Skimmer. Jackal. And then the griffin. And even after that, they released um, the entire book. What was the. No, notebook. Season. What the hell? Which season was that? It must have been season uh, three. Or 
when did the sky scale come? Was it season four? No. Season three was that one. Well, I cannot remember. But you got a lot for that value. And you couldn't do it the seasons too unless you owned the expansion, I think. Because it took place in the maps. And I don't think you could even enter the maps unless you owned it. But yeah. It's very unfair to compare. It's two completely different games. With two completely different uh, development levels. I consider Brimstone still being one of the better expansions I played. And I would feel more comfortable to sinking in 30 euros on Brimstone uh, than on this. I think this should still been a patch. Brimstone should have costed money. They should have released this back when they released Brimstone. Brimstone now, then I, it would have been amazing. I think I'm willing to die on that hill. Uh, let's go down here and then we're gonna head south. And uh, grab the other one. Sure, there cannot be another, another worse uh, run than this. I don't think so. That must have been the longest. Everyone says he has a risk, he needs to take a hard look in the mirror. Well... It, well, it is a reskin. I think it is a reskin. I mean, for me, this is still first... Actually... Okay, okay. It's, it's not as bad. It feels like they've done some more... Uh, well... Fine-tuning. Since... Um, uh, I tested it out on the PTR. I think. So, it. Uh, maybe it's not a reskin then. But I, it still doesn't feel right that they have taken a zone that were part of uh, the base game, decided, hey, we're gonna take this area. We're going to change the looks with a bit and then we're going to smash a 30, do uh, 30 euro price tag on it and no one can get it back. It's a slight bigger patch than Brimstone Sands. That's bullshit. Brimstone Sands was huge. Brimstone was by far a lot bigger. I mean, you can you can squeeze in two first lights in Brimstone, maybe even three if you stretch it out the area surface. But nevertheless, uh, I can bash this uh, expansion. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I want to go over here. Uh, then we need to we need to get up here. Okay, I need to get up here. Where the hell is this race? Oh. Yeah, like I said, I can I can uh, keep bashing the expansion a bit. I mean, it's not entirely appealing, but it's still good. We got mounts. We've been requesting that for a long time. I think it is still fair. You do get uh, three different mounts. Sure, they all have the same purpose, it just looks. It's not like again in Guild Wars 2 where the mounts have a different purpose. So, it's just the aesthetics, I guess. And then you can also buy one additional skin for in-game gold. Everything else, and of course the more attractive stuff like 
a white horse is usually very classic. That, that's locked behind a third, uh, what is it, 20, 20 euros price tag in the store. So, there's that. But I still think that is fair. Like I said, if they keep adding, like, another skin um, that you can get from gold and maybe some more skins in the store uh, when they release another big update or so, fair enough. If they're not going to release any skins, like, more than there are already that you can get for in-game uh, gold, then I think um, that... It's gonna be rather sad. They need to be able to cater for both sides, I believe. And still keep the more interesting ones locked in... Um, uh, locked in the store. Or make some... I think some skins can... Actually, I'm, I might be wrong. You can get, probably get three skins for each. But they are locked in uh, as drops. If they le uh, lock it behind the drops and such... That's even better, I think, because then people have a reason to farm. Make it tradable, then you have suddenly a market for it. That, that I think, is kind of healthy. Much healthier than just uh, stack a bunch of... Okay, actually, actually, there would not be a difference in that sense. But still, I think that's good. So yeah, that's something we've been requesting for a long, long time. Artifact items, cannot speak anything about it. Some seems to be extremely interesting. And some seems to be uh, uh, not very appealing. But it depends on how you play, I suppose. And then, uh, of course, we have... Um, uh, well, the raised level cap. And, of course, they did remove expertise. But that's just like, let's break something so we can fix it later, pretty much. In my opinion. There should be no... There should be praise about... They removing expertise, they removing expertise, but it should never been there in the in the first place. It should have, this should have been a lot more carefully thought out. Uh, because, like I said, most of my friends that I played with they actually stopped um, after they reached max level. They stopped because they just couldn't be bothered to farm expertise. And not a lot of them wanted to do dungeons and stuff like that. So all you had to do was chest runs. And that's fair enough uh, to do chest runs. But you do get bored out really fast of it. And there we go. Level 1. Uh, well, uh, 61. So I think exp removing expertise was great. But then again, it should never bend in the first place. They should have taken the system they had... And just, well, got them just improved that, but not made it into a more grind. But I also think that they needed more time to, uh, like, roll out um, something more substantial, like Grimstone. If they would have added the system that, I, that we have right now, back... When they had their expertise. I think uh, that would have been a lot worse. Because there was just nothing to do back then. It was just chest drones. Still chest drones uh, really but yeah. So uh, I can sympathize a little bit. Uh, why is this not um, discovered? There we go. Uh, and uh, since we leveled up, we get some points. I'm gonna invest some in strength, I believe. Try to get that sorted out. Nothing I'm gonna do here. But yeah, I'm... Um, I still think this is fair enough. And like some people say, it's 30 euros. And for what we get... If we would just break it down, we do get mounts, a level, level raise on level cap by five levels, a new uh, uh, end game uh, like gearing system, if we can call it that, and uh, a new uh, uh, rarity gear rarity 
artifact here. And uh, we also get 50 more additional levels to every single crafting gathering. So I still think it is fair. But this is going to be an expansion that will be kind of controversial in the community. All of the dedicated players will say this was great. And a lot of the people who were on the edge is going to pretty much say this sucked. Since Brimstone was free, everyone was on board in it pretty much. But we'll see. Um, we will find out how it really is once we start diving into this zone a bit more. And most likely start, and definitely when we start grinding a bit in it. But for now, we have two more races. No, 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 no way, we don't. We have three more races. Three more races, and then we're done. I really hope that we don't have any more point to point, but we probably do. I was a bit afraid of that. Morning Dale. So uh, fastest way there would be um, uh, out here, past here, up here, and uh, then I don't really know. Well. Uh, how would you do it? That's not a road, is it? Not really. No. That's gonna be worse. Yeah. Uh, restless, not really an option. Yeah, I think you need to, I think you need to ride through, uh, uh, Everfall up here. And then maybe here. Yeah, you're gonna need to go this way. There is really not, not much choice here. But then you need to ride here, through here, and over here, and over here. There is no other alternative, is it? You cannot ride through the settlement, that's gonna kill the run. Hmm. Because we need to go all the way over here, trying to go Orion again. Oh, damn. Which one is this? This Sands and Storms tour. Emerald Run Rally. That might be over to uh, Ebon Scale. And the Warriors Reprise. I don't know, really. Okay, well, let, let's stop. Let me see what we have. We have gotten some stuff. Stack of Scrolls or that shield. Nah. I wish it was a heavy shield. I mean, not, not these shields, they... They're a bit disappointment. Right, there we go. But yeah, I will do a, I will do a summary of uh, what I think about the expansion later. But for the value and you get mounts for it, fair enough. I think about other expansions that have done the same. Elder Scrolls came with mounts. Lot red mounts. They didn't have mounted combat though, but that came later and that's disgusting. Rift? Rift came with mounts. Now it's only Guild Wars 2 that spring to mind, but you got a lot from that. You did get a lot from it, and you did get that secret mount. Well, the griffin. It was just a part of the collection. It was not really a mount you could buy like that. You needed to do a lot of stuff for it. Oh. And then... Uh, and then you had... Then you... 
got the that, which was sort of a, like a gliding mount or a fly, flying mount, actually. Right now, the Griffin is uh, still uh, the most expensive and the fastest mount, I believe. Which is amazing to use. Once we have finished these uh, circuits, then I believe we should be maxed on the uh, on the mount, unless we need to wait for reset and uh, max it out with uh, what's called um, the vitamins. But if uh, we don't need them, then I'm just gonna sell them. Really, I think they sell fairly well because not everyone wants to do this. What we are doing. But I kind of enjoy it. It's not that bad. Like I said earlier, I really like to just see how this game looks. I mean, it's amazing. But I don't like the lion. I think the favorite is still the wolf. It's uh, just um, really nice. going right here oh yeah and they also added some stuff for fishing and it seemed to be kind of uh, decent there are new rewards uh, for doing doing it and new fishing clothes, but uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna be any better than the ones we have Did I ever reach 200 fishing on this character? I cannot remember uh, Going the oh shit going this way was not really that clever. I just realized We will miss the bridge so maybe I need to take a look did I ever um I only reached 100 on fishing. <laughs> That's a bit sad. But isn't that enough to get... Um, uh, that one. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think you got the legendary fishing rod after that. Not sure why I'm having that one though. I will look into that when we get the time. Oh shit. Uh, oh shit. Oh the, damn, it's gonna be like this run again. This will take us into there. I don't know if this is gonna be any good now. I might need to look for an alternative ro route now. Uh, okay, cut through over here, then we get to over there. But we could just have gone like that, now we're going like this, so... If we don't mess it up in weavers, we can make it. Nah, this feels like a really, really poor run. The distance we just had to travel. That's stupid. That was such a stupid choice we did. This bridge would still have been faster than what I just did. 
And I cannot make that uh, that in anywhere now. Well, let's just go into Weavers and see what we can do. If I can get around the settlement, then I don't have to travel like that. But I need to go like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go around the settlement. I'm gonna hope that it will be faster. I can maybe save in a few seconds, and that is going to be necessary. I think that one is just starting out. Pretty much. Might have the first uh, speed bonus. Ahead. We're gonna need to make sure that we run, uh, that we jump on it. Same story here. Although the mounts do feel really good. The jumping is a little bit uh, weird sometimes. And uh, it felt a lot more natural to jump on the horse than it does on these. On the wolf and the lion. Uh, but still. Uh, now we need to go off throw there. This could be... The thing that breaks it for us or makes it. I could also go on that road, but we cannot go in here. And I cannot go too close. And I cannot go into too deep water. Going too close will uh, put me into settlement mode. Come on. I could also have taken the one the speeds up off road, but yeah. Three and a half kilometer nine minutes. But I think we saved just some time. Straight. I need to go straight all the way up. Okay, that's it. Now we should just be roads all the way.
apart from this one. Okay, we're just gonna keep going that way. Once we get inside the morning there, we need to go right. Otherwise, we're gonna end up on uh, the ridge to the left, um, and there's only like two exits on it, unless you jump down. And uh, we don't want that. Six and a half minutes, two kilometers, it should be easy. We're just gonna take the same way we took last time. So all the way up to the settlement, south ro road, and then join the main road uh, on the east side of the settlement. And then we're just gonna go for it. Uh, going that way actually was worse. Should we just continue? I mean, it's going to end up in the same route, same uh, route anyway. Should just go as straight as narrow, to be honest. But never mind. It's it's less than 600 meters now, almost. One thing is for certain, though. We've been how long have we been, been riding? I did have a little break there too. Let's say give or take over uh, six uh, hours and uh, 20 minutes, something like that. And I still don't feel bored of it. If I would have done this on foot, I would have given up halfway, probably never fall uh, from first light up to uh, brimstone. I would not have done it. It would have killed me. Maybe it's also because of the mount, the, I mean, the monk music. I hope that's something we can turn on. 
I mean, not, it's not mount music, it's, it's race music, I think. I hope that's something we can toggle. But I know it's not something we can toggle, but I hope they add it. Just uh, liven it up a little bit. Alright, almost there. So I think we have... Um, Oh, oh wait, let's see, we have one more tour and one rally. So we have one more like point to point. Okay. Let's go down. Uh, the last two are next to each other, so... I would like to do the tour um, first, to be honest. To have that done, knowing that now it's just a checkpoint race left. Uh, let's see if this is the one. That's a rally. Then this up here must be the tour. Yeah, it ends up there in every fall. Uh, what do we get from that, by the way? Okay. Okay, every fall, not that bad. No. Quick check. Uh, we are going up here, same way. Then up here, and then we can also just continue that way. Uh, up here. And then I think it doesn't matter, I believe. We can continue up there and then turn and then just go like that. Yeah, easy. Let's go. Left exit. We'll see if we can find a casual guild as well to join. Uh, before we finish up with Brimstone, we did join a guild actually. A um, well, it was actually kind of okay back then. It was a, it did end up with a lot of drama though. But I, still, I still think there was a bunch of nice people in there, uh, but then they disbanded. So. And since we weren't playing anyway, it felt like it's better to just let it be. see if we can actually uh, craft the uh, mount gear 
in case we can even make it faster than we have this. looking for one tank for the new dungeon but we're not the right level and i'm extremely rusty as a tank i think i want to do um, some flail leveling and then and then probably do barnacles and black powder uh, because that one i tanked a lot and i still remember that one fairly well and if we anyway need to get 700 items again, I guess I need to do it. So. The only, the only shame really with this expansion is that keep going is that we um, only have like one more evening and then it's time for Assassin's Creed Mirage. So uh, yeah. And then we're probably going to be playing it after we're done with that though. But it's just too tight of games. And in uh, about, uh, what is it, 16 days? Yeah, and I think in 16 days we have um, Spider-Man 2. So yeah. However, after that it's going to be a lot more uh, laid back. This one was uh, really easy. Let's see how it looks with all the camps uh, here. Should just be straight ahead. Damn, are they still running here? What the hell is wrong with them? Oh. Right, we have one more left. One more, and then we're done. Can do this and it should be a short one i think it is a short one i hope i didn't jinx it now <laughs> yeah one armor one weapon one uh jewelry you can wear when it comes to artifacts so um i don't know i wish it was different but yeah uh, oh yeah faction missions might be nice to do here Possibly.
Okay. 14 checkpoints. Here we go. Final one. Be nice. I think it wanted me to go throw it there, but I'm not sure. This one we got. There we go. 250. You 
have come back. Every bit has been now. What is it that I can do for you, friend human? That's it. Hmm. That's not too bad, actually. But yeah, we we are done. Okay, well, um, the other thing was really nice, though. It did take six and a half hours, pretty much, uh, without fails. Probably under six hours, or six hours in total, to finish it all. Now we can uh, have an anger mount. Must be other mount gear, but yeah. Oh well. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna be stopping there for tonight. Uh, we finished everything with the mounts, so that's great. And then uh, tomorrow we can check out Flail more, and um, I might even check it out before stream a bit. We'll see. Because uh, I I already checked it out on. Um, on um, the PTR and I know I, I like it but I want to use it probably for tanking I might sort of bow out as well and uh, then we'll see so uh, anyway I'll be back tomorrow at about 10pm uh, so it'll be in summertime and then uh, we will uh, continue so uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see everyone hopefully then until then take care and good night everyone Bye.